Greetings, fellow YouTubers. Irv Lindsay here. How the heck are ya? Uh, I wanted to show some of the goings on in Cheviot because uh, there's this horrible rumor uh, that Cheviot is dying and it's not. Uh, there was a news article, and uh, there was also a subsequent article by article by a newspaper in Cheviot. Is it the Cheviot Gazette? Oh man, guys over at the Cheviot Gazette, if I'm calling you by the wrong name, please, please correct me. Uh, setting the the record straight that uh, Cheviot is in fact not dying; uh, it is doing quite well. Uh, so. We're, we're, we're here at uh, Budno, uh, Budno, and there's the Walgreens, and there's a, we're about to enter the downtown heart of Cheviot here. Um, I think things are going quite well. There's lots of people, there's lots of cars, there's places to shop, there's a lot of small businesses, and uh I don't know why everybody thinks it's dying. Because Stones went out of business, Stones Restaurant, because they just didn't have anybody to carry on the family business, from what I understand, so they decided to retire. But there's still Stephen's Old Village Restaurant here. Great prices, great food. They're open right now. But look up their, uh, look up their hours, because I think your hours are kind of quirky. We're crossing North Bend Road. This is an interesting... This is an interesting intersection right here, but there's a lot going on. As a matter of fact, there's always a ton of traffic going through here. A ton of traffic, uh, especially during the week, if you're in, during a, uh, a busy shop time of year where it's, you know, either shopping season or especially during rush hour. Um, here's Stone's Restaurant right here. All the time I lived here, I never got a chance to eat there, so please make fun of me. <laughs> it's just not something I got around to, and now I feel bad. Um, but I'm sure something else will go in there. It's prime real estate. And there's a lot of little shops right here. Um, and right here is where they have the West Side Market once a month during the, the spring and summer and fall. Fantastic. Now, I did a drive through down here, not through here, not too long ago, but there's, uh, I just want to, I want to do it again to say that, uh, oh, and for those that don't know, they did tear down this, this is my friend's nursery, and then I pulled out the recesses of my brain. They finally tore that building down. It's been so long. It's been out of business the whole time I've lived in Cincinnati, I think. So, um, uh, I did a drive through a driving with Irv not too long ago, but there's a lot. Cheviot has a lot going for it. Uh, my mom lives here in Cheviot and she's lived here for like five years and really she has everything she needs within driving distance. And she, she enjoys living here. And um, there, there, there is a lot down here. Now, has, has there been some stuff that's closed down recently? Yeah, I mean, Stones, the Stones retired. Uh, and it seems like there's been a thing or two that's gone out of business. But that's just the natural business cycle, people. I mean, things don't just... Businesses don't just stay in business. Things don't open up and stick around forever. I mean, the history of Cincinnati is a history of businesses that have come and went that were very highly successful in their day, but guys, nothing lasts forever. And if you want evidence of that, go on the east end of downtown, up just a little bit, uh, and you'll see a big abandoned building, and it's called the Crosley Building. And guys... Powell Crosley Jr. was a superpower techno giant of a man in his day. And all I can say is, you know, if if 
if anything lasted forever, it would have been his legacy. And that building is in ruins right now, in literal ruins, just because nothing lasts forever. Uh, but, you know, it's just the way things are. So I'm going to turn on to Glenway here. Actually, it's Race Road at this point. If you go one way, it's Race Road. I think if you go the other, it's Glenway. This is one of the most difficult spots to turn left at because there's no left-hand turn signal, and there needs to be. I might not even make it. I might not even make it. I'm not going to lie. I've actually had to go straight here before to go down to the... That's what I'm going to do right now. And go down to the next light and turn and make a U-turn and come around and go back so that I can... <laughs> So I can turn there and go the right way. Uh, so there's some pretty cool stuff down this way too. And one of these days I'm going to go down to this uh, Veterans Memorial Park down here. Where the, uh, where the tank is. I'm going to go down there one of these days. And down here on the right. Where are we right now? Uh, this is Westwood Northern Boulevard. It turns into Lee Court as it crosses Harrison Avenue here. That's where this uh, True Partner Credit Union is. Used to be Cincinnati Central Credit Union, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, right over here. And they completely redid this intersection. If you haven't been here in a while, they repaved all this. They redid all this. It's actually really nice right here on Harrison. Right here on Harrison. So what I'm gonna do is go down here into this, uh, into this little shopping center, and I'm gonna turn left. And I'm gonna turn around, and I'm gonna go home. Thanks for coming with with me on this drive. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon, and uh, the weather is mild, and I even get to roll my window down for once. Uh, thanks guys. Appreciate it. Everybody enjoy the rest of your week. Keep fighting a good fight and I will see you in the next video.